Hi, welcome. Um, I'm here with Juan Miguel La Vista, who's Principal Data Scientist at Microsoft. Welcome, Juan. Thank you. So Juan, uh, Mi Microsoft's been around for a long time now and it's a huge company, uh, but there's still quite a bit of transformation happening at Microsoft. Um, one big move has been uh, the emphasis on cloud uh, software as a service, in particular around the productivity software. Mm -hmm. And so coming out of uh, Bing, where you have uh, access to all this information about your customers and their usage, um, do you see the move uh, from kind of on-site software in a box to software in the cloud um, making a huge change in how you understand the customer and how they use the products? Yeah, definitely we see a, a change because before, once you ship a product, once you ship a box, uh, there was little you could actually change, or there was little information that you uh, could actually get. For example, what feature was more used, and how people, like, it would take you two, three years to actually, like once you learn that people didn't like a feature, it would take you th two, three years to come up with a new version. Once you move to the cloud, you can actually be much more agile, where if someone is not using a feature, you can actually make a change. You can actually learn very fast that someone mm -hmm. is not using a feature, or, or which features are, are being used more, and then make a change based on that. So definitely that's, that's generating that the whole uh, uh, software model now is much more agile. For uh, product development, but also for customization? You can learn anything that is in the, on in the online. A lot of the part of the package still runs on the, on, on the box itself, but anything that is online, you could potentially customize it to the user, basically. Right, now uh, you started off uh, in with a startup uh, yes. before you came to Microsoft. Yes. Um, having come from the startup world, uh, did you learn anything in a startup that would help you survive or succeed in the large business environment of a company like Microsoft? I think what is very useful, is definitely diff very different, but what is very useful that you, you will only learn in a startup is you will be, you will be needed in every single part of, the, of whatever that startup is doing. Uh, from analyzing text that you need to put on the website to actually putting something in production. Uh, it's more like a one, it wasn't a, a, a one-man show, but it was like a small team, 10, 15 people. You need to be able to learn every single step, mm -hmm. and that gives you a much broader view. Once you move to a big company, it's very, uh, unless you're working on a, on, a, on a startup within the company, majority of the tasks you will do will be much more focused on one area. Mm -hmm. So it will give you a much broader view of the, mm -hmm. of the whole uh, uh, development, basically. So Juan, uh, you know, as a data scientist, you work with people from all different backgrounds uh, on your team, with data science backgrounds, also kind of business backgrounds, MBAs. Um, if you were to give advice to MBAs who are entering into a company, that plan on working with a lot of data and with a lot of data scientists, what kind of uh, advice would you give them? What should they be uh, focusing on learning while they're in business school? So th they should definitely be able to distinguish, for example, why correlation does not imply causation type of problems. They need to understand the whole idea of bias. They need to have some minimal statistical background that will allow them to understand what is the data telling them. Because a lot of times they will be able, they will need to interact with data scientists that they will need to make decisions, but they, they will need to understand what is really the data telling them. So if they had a choice between, say, learning about different machine learning techniques versus kind of really getting a high level understanding of statistics? For me, is the high level understanding of statistics that I would, that would be the minimal bar, meaning that you can be an expert in machine learning, but if you don't, know that correlation does not imply causation, then all that technical background is useless, basically. So I would expect that the minimal bar is that they need to have some basic knowledge of statistics that would allow them to answer, to be able to deal with these data problems and understand what is the data telling them. Juan, thanks for coming into Haas today. Thank you very much for inviting me.